Right, just found uh, this mow here. I, I, I scraped a bit of the soil off, it was up about this high. But you put your fingers in and there's, there's a hole going down. Don't, like your normal scissor traps and that, people just pull that back and they put a scissor trap in there and they don't catch nothing. Because that ain't where the run is if you pull it back. You come back. And then th there's there's the run there. That's going that way and that way. And that's where you want to put your trap. And that's why you, I like using these. Because if you stick a scissor trap or any other trap in there, you're only going to get one mole or you might block it from one direction with soil and set it off with these you'll get them from that way and get them from that way plus uh, they seem to be a bit more forgiving when the mole is actually pushing the soil that's better when it is actually pushing the soil through the soil will go through the trigger mechanism because it's a piece of wire and not a solid bar so it's less likely to be set off and then when he's got your moles in there and snaps and lets go you're more likely to catch it. Try and dig this run out a bit more. The other thing is when you're digging it around, don't stand on top of the run compressing and compressing it because all that's going to do, the mole will come along and any soil that's been compressed it will jam that into your trap. Got a job to see on this screen what I'm filming and what I'm not, but you can see there this a run there and a run in there, and that's where you want to be putting the trap. Right, just dug it out a bit more by using the trap. You push it in like that and it cuts the sides out nice and then you take out any excess soil. And the other thing I do is I dig out the middle. So that if the mole is packing it with soil, it's got a little divot for it to fall. Before, um, before it sets the trigger off. You hear people saying don't get grass in there and all this lot don't get like piles of it in there but the old blade of grass ain't gonna ain't gonna hurt. Right. <clears throat> That's the tap trap set. Um all you do just sprinkle a bit of soil over it and you're good to go. I might mine with a stick with a bit of a uh, tape round it. This is like a village playing field, they know they leave the sticks alone, they know what they're for. It's bloody holiday makers that make the bloody thing. Um, the ground here is very soft so it's easy to pull out with your hands, but if you need to dig it out, I like using one of these, it's just um, a plasterer's saw. You can get them from cheap shops, pound shops, biology. Then that way you just put your trap over the top, you cut around your trap. Pull it out and you've got the exact size hole. Nice.